Okay, what's up, Moon Basers and Misfits? This is Ray Recall, and uh, I got bored. So, today, we're going to be doing a review of something a little special that came in. We're going to be reviewing the... Hey, hey you get out of here. Go, go. Bad, bad, bad. Anyway. So, we're going to be reviewing something. Um, first review. Mm -hmm. uh, this came in just the other day and because of work I have not yet been able to review it yet so even I don't know what's in this thing that's a lie I actually bought the thing because I knew exactly what was in it but the point is this is uh, Mastermind Creations R07 Fella Saber I think that's how you pronounce it if not then I'm just gonna stick it with the G1 name Catilla so yeah I guess we can just get started. Uh, first thing of note is that in the box that it came in uh, came these. And these are for the uh, Mastermind Creations Feral Rex Combiner. Uh, their face and uh, just like a little upgrade kit for some of their previous releases of uh, uh, Bovis and Fortis, I think they are. Is, uh, they got alternate face plates and uh, red hooves, I think, for Bovis. I'm not sure. Haven't done any research on these because I can't afford a whole Feral Rex. So, bye bye. Anyway, let's take a look at what we got in front of us. By the way, like I said, this is my first review, so if anything sounds off or like the audio or shaky cam, uh, I don't have a professional setup. So, deal with it. Anyway, so. Right out the gate, we got this nice box. It's got some uh, glossy finish to the actual character. Along the side, you got the. Along the side, you got the uh, details. Along the top, nice product shots. Blah blah blah. Shine bright like a diamond. Anyway, uh, content warnings. Blah 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 blah. And as you can see here, let me see if I can get. That phone up in this. He forms a official sixth member for Feral Rex, which is their not predicating. He forms the arm. Ba ba ba, this, that, and the other. Dee -dee -dee -dee. Things you can do with this stuff. Okay. Back you go. Okay. So the thing cool thing about uh Mastermind Creations boxes, from what I understand, is that uh there's some pretty interesting Artwork on the sides. Mastermind Creations. Remember this, it's gonna be important. And you can see all the glare of my horrible, horrible messy room behind the window of the right, of the uh, Catilla character, whatever. Anyway, let's see, he's got some accessories, blah, 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 and we'll get into this stuff in a second anyway, so. Now here comes that second that we were talking about. Okay, so, pop this open. Now, I have opened this, just this flap, just to see what's in there, see if there's any, like, parts missing or whatever, um, but I haven't actually handled the figure itself in my hands before, so, new experience. You're gonna watch it with me. So, open this. <laughs> Hey, give a guy. Box. And go ahead and do this. And for those people that give a hoot about boxes, this is the interior insert. Shiny. Anyway. So, included, I'm just going to set that off to the side. We have a bunch of, a packet of stuff. All right, let's see what's in here, shall we? We have the uh, oh yeah, this is something that um, basically you use for the 
leg bots, guns that become Feral Rex's feet, uh, little bumps and some felt that you stick on there. It basically stops them from sliding around on your counter. Again, not going to use these. So, back in the bag you go. You get, oh shoot, you uh, get two cards. A uh, nice credit card stock on these. It looks like a UV finish on it. Nice. One of a uh, fellow saber. And all the little stats on that in case you care. I actually have a binder full of cards. These will be neat. Add to my collection. And then one for Feral Rex in total. And, uh. Wow. I guess if he's after you, just outrun him. Okay. And, um. Another thing that the uh, reformatted lines does is uh, a dual comic and instruction book. So, now I, again, I haven't read these, so I have no idea what happens. That looks freaking epic. Um, I'll have to give that a good read. Hopefully it's good enough as a standalone. Oh! Spoilers! Whoops! Okay, <laughs> anyway, and uh, then here comes the instructions which I will read over in just a second hang on a sec is that oh neato apparently you can make two double swords for feral rex if you don't want the massive weighing down my arm sword huh. all right so I'll look into that in a little bit get straightened out and finally the main course which needs to be free from its clamshell prison. I'm just gonna, you know what? I'm just going to cut this out real quick. I'm going to do a hard cut, push pause, everything will be out. Okay, ready? And go. And we're back. Okay, so that was a nightmare to get out of the packaging. Good on Mastermind Creations for having very good packaging, but uh, holy crud, thought I was actually going to break this guy getting it out of there, so it might just because I'm a little ham-fisted. Anyway, so... Here we go. We got a fellow saber out of the packaging. And again, this is a reference to G1 Catilla, the uh, pretender. It was one of the animal pretenders. And, um, I don't know. I mean, I, I really like this guy. Looks cool. First impressions are really badass. You know? Does have a big combiner port in the back, but oh well. <laughs> I sure couldn't design one better than this. Uh, as per the box art, he's got the uh, helmet mounted weapon on this arm and this gun on this arm. I'm not going to go too much into details because my phone's camera sucks. Stupid. Anyway, uh, so pretty good, pretty decent. Um, yeah, so there he is. And uh, first of all. First and foremost, uh, some size comparisons. Here he is with a uh, current generation's uh, Prime War Trilogy Deluxe. We got Prowl, this model of uh, model citizen. Anyway, um, where we have a current leader class. Uh, big old monkey truck right there. And uh, so that's how they scale together. Yeah. And uh, just in case you don't just collect Transformers, here he is with uh, Marvel Legends uh, Venom. Hey, 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 you get out of here. Get, get out of here. Freaking <sighs> things I got to put up with. Anyway, you know what? I'm moving on. Okay, so what do we got to work with here? Well, beautiful face sculpt. If my camera will focus in on it. Come on, kind of, there we go. Lovely metallic blue for those eyes. Too bad you can't see it with my lighting. Uh, head is on a ball joint. Shoulders, ratchet rotation joint. In and out movement, again on a ratchet. Bicep rotation. Uh, looks like they've got uh, one, here. It's got a few joints of bend, one there, and a true elbow joint there. I think it's actually even a double elbow, yep. It's a double elbow. Uh, let's see. Wrist has a rotation. 
um, the chest head um, it's got kind of like on a swivel rotation and the uh, jaws can open and close ab crunch real nice waist rotation here and I think if there's a waist rotation up here yep so there is um, legs can go all the way out again on ratchets you can hear all these amazing ratchets on there forward that much backward that much uh, above the knee rotation does it have a thigh rotation no it's just above the knee rotation um, let's see if I can get the knee to bend Oop. stay out there uh, full range of movement on the knee and the feet are on a armature that ends in a ball joint so they got some pretty good posability to it um, let's see as far as weapons go again he's got the uh, blaster right there pretty neat pretty simple but it's effective and then the uh, whole beast helmet assembly thing um, and this has some articulation too these blade fangs things are on rotation and uh, can't really make use of this ball joint but I'm guessing that's for something else later but uh, yeah that's there now the way to attach it because I've heard a lot of people having trouble with this and including myself off camera there's <sighs> this little tab right here you're supposed to fit it into this little let me see if I can get the light into it this little slot right there in the beast mode paw and uh, it can be pretty difficult because as you can see this little tab likes to fold in um, so now I've heard a lot of people say that they just remove the paw because it's just on like a little ball joint right or a mushroom peg right there they remove it attach the thing and then remount the whole assembly on the forearm I didn't do that because I'm not about to break a brand new toy um, and it is possible to get it on there it's just a pain in the butt so we'll put these off to the side for now and we'll get into transformation I think it's about time for that right so now I've never transformed this before so we're gonna learn together yeah as I open up the instruction manual off screen okay okay so first of all I'm gonna take the shoulder units and drop them down which if you have the uh, other version of this mold, which is their, um, uh, I can't remember what the word is. It's the red tiger one. Tigress, I think, is what they officially called it. If you have them side by side, you can leave one of them with the shoulders down, one of them with the shoulders up. I heard that kind of makes it seem less like you bought the same figure twice. Um, let's see. going to take these right here, swing them around to the back, and they should just peg in right back there and the purpose of these things is that in robot mode it bulks out the calves again you can leave these back there just to make things uh more your flavor all right now coming up here take the head bring it back take this bring it up and take this whole assembly oh, hang on one moment Okay, so I had to do this off camera, but what you want to do is you want to take the head of the robot, flip it back and down, and then all this stuff will kind of just coast over it like that. And the front will kind of just shift into place. Take the beast mode head, rotate it around. There you go. So there's that. Now, what you're going to do next is you're going to take the forearms, open them up, they clip in, put the hands back in, and they just clip shut. And then you take it, rotate it around, and just bring that up, like so. Is this at the right angle? Yeah, it's at the right angle. And then do the same thing on the other side. Like so, put that up in there. Snaps nice. 
That shut nice and firmly. Oop, that was already out. And then do that. Actually, for some reason, it wants us to wait for the head reveal. Okay, that's weird. Um, let's see. Then you, what you want to do is rotate the waist at this point, 180. Uh, buh, buh, buh. You're going to want to come to the back, open up these right here. And then you want to take the foot. It's a little weird to finagle this, but you want to take it, rotate it around, and through this. Let's see if I can get this done on camera, because this might be another one of those things that I'm just going to have to do off camera. Okay, this might have to be another thing I have to finagle off camera. Just give me one second. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to take this, rotate it, then drop it down, and that'll come up and tab in like that. Simple enough, simple enough. Okay, come around to the other side. Rotate it around. Nope, it was already rotated the right way. Come up, down, and it will tab in just like that. Next thing you wanna do is you wanna tab the legs together. See if I can get this on camera, that'd be much more helpful. There you go. And then just take this whole assembly. These are nice, lovely ratchets. Drop that down, like so. Right? Right? Yeah? Yeah? Yep. Drop that down like so. Dab them together. These will come in, I think. Right? 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 What is that? No. Oh. These will come down and do something. Hang on. Hang on. Oh. I messed up. I messed up. I'm sorry. Okay. Get this angled right. I am having more trouble with this than I should. One moment. Okay. You don't want to put the legs together until the last minute. So you put these in. Like so, like so. Come down here to the knee pads, bring them up. These will lock into place like that and like that. Then the feet come down, get tabbed into the back of the shins. And then everything comes together. You couldn't see that. I am so sorry. Okay, so to review the legs, basically you have to keep them split. These panels come in, the knee caps come up, the foot comes down, and then everything comes together right now over me. Okay, anyway, so coming around to the side, you're going to want to untab these sections right here. You're going to want to rotate them, come on, like so. If I can get these out. Come on. Come on. Come on, kitty. Okay. Rotate these down and around. Open up a flap somewhere. Oh, right here. And then this whole assembly will flip out the cat foot. Like so. There's a kitty leg. Close that up, come around to the other side. And kind of helps if you push in from here and pull out from here. So there we go. Bring out the kitty foot and just close that back up. Come right here to the center. If I can get my finger in there. Oops. What's going on here? What's going on here? This is, oh, no wonder that was tabbed into place. Whoops. And you got the kitty's tail. Okay. Work with the joints a little bit. Play with the joints a little bit. And there you go. And then you want to Okay, 
Then you want to take this, rotate it around again. No, 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 no. You want to take this, rotate it around. Bring the cat legs forward. And there you have Fella Saber in cat mode. I seriously hope. Okie dokie. Yes, are we doing? Are we done? Are we done? Is everything done? Are we done? We're done. We are donezo. Sweet. Okay, so here we go. We have a uh, Catilla or not Catilla, Fella Saber in cat mode. And it's a cool little kitty. Look at him, he's a little kitty. Little, 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 little kitty. Okay, so anyway, coming a little bit closer to that lion head. Holy crap, that's a huge yawn. Would not want to be involved with that. Cool visor looking aesthetic to it. It's got the shoulder spikes. The body has a crunch to it, so you can really emote, and we'll get into that articulation in a second. Little paws, little tail. Totally cleans up really nicely. Now, for articulation, the head is on a ball joint, I think. Yes, it is. It is on a ball joint, so you can get some wiggly waggly. Um, you can rotate it up and down, uh, or I should say shift it up and down on this armature. Mouth, as you saw, can open real wide, and it's got some lovely painted teeth in there. Shoulders have, the arms basically have the same amount of articulation as they did in, uh, robot mode because it is the same robot mode arms except uh, now there's a paw tilt and a hinge joint here waist rotation ab arc I guess you would call it although if you wanted to you can rotate this around and have him do the city kitty pose which is something that they had in the uh, box art that I saw but the back arch looks just a little bit cooler, in my opinion. Uh, legs are on... They are not on a ball joint. They are on an armature and a hinge. But they do still have a lot of movement to them. They got a uh, hinge here, hinge here, and the back paws are on a ball joint. And finally, for the back, we have a hinge here and a hinge here. So... There you go. So he is a very emotive kitty, in my opinion. Not in my opinion, he's just very able to easily emote. See? Now for weapon storage, um, you can take the gun, which has a little tab right here, put it in the hole right there. Boom, assault kitty. Now for the other accessory. So this, is uh, what finishes the homage to Catilla because in the uh, G1 toy, Catilla not only transformed into a cat, but his pretender shell was just an even bigger cat. Doesn't make sense to me, but whatever. And uh, the thing that really made it stand out was it had this uh, He-Man battle cat combat mask looking thing. So from what I remember is correct, a certain way to do this. So you're supposed to feed these claw things into the top, which is kind of scary because I don't want to scratch the paint on them. Let me see if I can do something real quick. Ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba. Easy does it. It's not wanting to go in straight. Why are you not wanting to go in straight? Work with me. Cooperate. Come on. I've seen this done a million times. Come on. Come on. Once. Okay. I was able to do it. It just was really hard to do it with my arms at outstretched length in front of the camera. So there's that. So you got it there. Cat head is right here. And it'll just, as you can hear, click into place. Let's get that mouth open. And then the saber tooth fangs just drop down. And that looks awesome. And because there's like that little ball joint armature here, you still can get a pretty decent range of... Uh, emoting on the cat head come on roar like a mighty lion or saber tooth whatever all right 
And uh, I guess for comparison, again, here he is with a mainline deluxe. So, yeah. That's going to be a bad day for, for him. And a mainline. A mainline uh, leader class. You're, even, you're too big for the freaking backdrop, dude. Okay. And, um. So, yeah, that's about it. I uh, can't really think of anything else for the, say, for this review. Oh! One last thing. In the, uh. For, okay, so for the. Tigris, I can I can't remember. That's what the Mastermind Creations uh, version is called. I can't remember what he was called in the original Predacons. But there was a little panel right here that would open up, and there was like a demolitions charge, which is awesome because that fits the character, supposedly. I think I don't know. This one is still has that little gap in it because it's the same mold. Only difference is when you open this. Come out. I'm out. Get out of Thank you. You get the Mastermind Creations mascot. Yeah, look at him. Look at him, he's a little penguin dude. A little robo penguin. And, uh, yeah, that's adorable. And the cool thing about this is it's not just a static figure either. It's also got a little bit of articulation to it. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, the little wings. Yep, little wings also rotate, even though this one's a little stuck. There we go. So, uh, yeah. Little Mastermind Creations mascot. I thought that was adorable. And it is. So, yeah. You can just sit right there. Right there. Gunther. Gunther, you straighten up. You know what? I'm not going to call him Gunther. I'm going to call him Feathers. Wallace and Gromit rules. Anyway, so, um, final thoughts, I guess. Uh, love this toy. Um, not a stranger to third party stuff, but this is my first foray into Mastermind Creations, so I am super digging anything that they're going to be releasing anymore. I do want to try to get some of their DJD members, if I can. Um, maybe even. Uh, what's his face? Roller, their version of Roller from the IDW comics. That'd be awesome. Uh, one thing to note is that I got this from Big Bad Toy Store, and in the uh, in the images that they show for the product, they do not mention or include any images about the battle mask. And I was a little bit upset about that because that was one of the things that, you know, I was on. I was. I could take it or leave it, but the fact that they weren't. Showing it, I'm like, hmm, did it not come with it? Is it going to be something that you have to pre-order with, like, a first-run edition? But no, it came with it, so it's all good. Um, yeah, I love this figure. Um, probably going to have a lot of fun putting it in poses, putting it in some videos with you, for you, with uh, this little dude here. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, yeah, this has been... One bored dude with nothing better to do on a rainy day. And, uh, catch you later, dudes. Peace.